Hello, hello, hello everybody and welcome to a War of the Sparks standard video here on the channel. Today's video is brought to you by Wizards of the Coast. Thank you so much to them for giving me a free preview account in their early access War of the Spark event. It came with all of the cards unlocked and enough gems to play all day. So thank you so much to Wizards and a huge shout out to them. I also want to give a big shout out to Dr. Frank Karsten, the designer of the deck that I'm about to showcase. I did make a couple of changes, but the concept was completely his. And uh, I really do enjoy the idea he came up with. He is a PhD in stats, and when he saw the new card, Cards, his thought mind went immediately to how can I get a kill in standard as fast as mathematically possible and turn three was the number he landed on his deck can do it with a six percent six point three percent uh, rate of uh, kill on turn three so it really is a sweet deck he called it John Thud and I just really wanted to thank Dr. Frank Karsten uh, for designing such a sweet deck uh, I actually had the pleasure of playing against Dr. Frank Karsten at a Grand Prix Las Vegas a couple years ago so he really is a nice guy and one of my favorite pros in the community if you do enjoy this video be sure to hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to get updates for whenever I post new content. Leave a comment in the comment section down below if you have any questions or comments, and I hope you enjoy the deck tech and matches to come. Hello, hello, hello everybody, and welcome to a War of the Spark standard video. Today we are playing a deck designed in most part by Dr. Frank Karsten, a PhD in stats. He does design some cool builds in the early stages of most standard formats, and this combo build it, deck is no different. It is essentially a turn three combo deck with some consistency, not a ton of consistency, but some. And uh, it is built around the card Dreadhorde Butcher alongside Thud and Colossus from Collision Colossus. So essentially, I'll explain the combos to you. There's two different combos that can kill the opponent on turn three. Uh, the first one of which being uh, turn two Dreadhorde Butcher, hit them for one. That puts them to 19 and Dreadhorde Butcher up to two counters. And then on turn three, you attack with Dreadhorde Butcher, uh, put Colossus on it, so that makes it a 6 power creature. They take 6 down from 19 down to 13. It gets another counter, which puts it to 7 counters, and then you sacrifice it with Thud, targeting them. Thud does 7 damage to them. Dreadhorde Butcher does power equal to its uh, damage equal to its power, which is another 7 damage, so the opponent goes to negative 1 life. The other combo of the deck is Dreadhorde Arcanist plus uh, Collision Colossus and Thud. So essentially, on turn 2, you, would, you play Colossus onto Dreadhorde Arcanist, giving it plus four plus two and giving it trample and then when dreadhorde arcanist attacks it gets to flash back to the colossus which to give it another plus four plus two so then it has nine power you then thud it to do 18 damage to your opponent and if you've shocked them on turn one or if your opponent shocked themselves that kills them on turn three the rest of the deck is built uh to support this kind of strategy uh cranko tin street kingpin is just another card that works well with the pump spells uh we're also playing giant growth as kind of a backup colossus type effect uh, and then four Adventurous Impulse to find our combo pieces. And then we do have a little bit of just value cards like Growth Chamber Guardian, uh, Grill Spell Breaker, and Judith. Judith can just sometimes do good work with Cranko tokens or just sometimes uh, make blocks hard for the opponent. Then we have a bunch of just miscellaneous lands. The sideboard's not super relevant, but if you did want to play this in best of three, this is the sideboard that Karsten recommended. Um, it just has a bunch of uh, like some removal spells, some uh, duresses and divests for... Uh, di di duress for like decks that might have some... Removal spells that you want to get rid of. Cinder Vines is just a card that's good against Reclamation decks a lot of the time, sometimes Control decks. And then Act of Treason is a good card in the creature matchups. So uh, that is the deck. I did change it a little bit from Frank Karsten's list to make it a little bit more all-in on the combo because I find that aspect of it to be more fun. Uh, so I added the fourth Adventures Impulse and I added them some giant growths for some more like top-end filler cards. But that is the deck. And I do want to say uh, that, uh, yeah, that is going to be the deck. And I hope you'll stay with me for the matches. Hello, and welcome to a match with Karsten's Masterpiece. That's the deck name I'm giving it, and we are so close. We just need a Collision Colossus in our top two cards, and we've got the turn three combo kill in standard. So uh, let's start things off with a tapped Overgrown Tomb. And uh, hope our opponent doesn't do anything on turn one or two or three. Okay, turn one's in the clear. Ooh, there's a Cranko. That's a good backup plan. But here we are just hoping to draw that sweet, sweet Colossus. Colossus would be sweet. I believe in our deck. The heart of the cards are with us. We have four copies. You know, giant growth would even bring us kind of close. It wouldn't be quite a turn three kill then, but... Oh, yes. Yes! Oh, yes! We're doing it! We're doing it! Okay, so we need to have green mana and then double red mana. So we need to have... Um... 
Yes, we have turn three kill. So we have giant growth. Shock the opponent. Yes! Oh, we did it! We did it! Yes! Turn three kill! Turn three kill! Yes! Oh my god! Exact damage to the shock! The shock! Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Boom! Turn three! Let's go! Uh, opponent doesn't know what hit him. Oh, uh, let's go. That was sweet. That is what we were trying to do, folks. That is exactly it. Oh my goodness, that was sweet. So cool. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to Combo City! We are doing it! Oh, man, all we need is an untapped land, and we have the combo again! Dreadhorde Butcher, Colossus, and Thud. That's the original combo. We just need a shock land. Give me that sweet, sweet shock land. I mean, we can't possibly ever send this one back. We just have to hope for the best. I think more of our lands make red mana than uh, black mana. Oh my gosh, come on. Two in a row, two in a row. Let's go. Come on, Shockland. We have like 15 of you in the deck. Not the greatest odds, but just give it to me, please. Oh, this is going to be sweet. Oh, man. <laughs> please, deck. Oh, no. Oh, rats. That's so sad. Oh, it's so sad. Our deck is protecting us from... Uh, Early access, yes, yo woman. Indeed. Early access, indeed. Our opponent let us hit him? What? <gasps> Our opponent let us hit him. We're in business, folks. Oh my gosh, we have it. We just need to draw an untapped land this turn. It's almost the same thing. No, er, uh, only certain people, like content makers, did. No! Why? Cruel world, you torture me so! Oh, the brutality. Oh, the sadness, the anguish that I'm going through right now. Oh, no. We'll just attack his face. If he blocks here, we'll kill the Llanowar Elves. Oh, the brutality. Yes! Oh, they both grow, and the combo becomes even more and more real. I literally can kill him next turn with either of them. Oh, yes! Who knew that it was even a turn five combo kill? Um, Popular people only. Well, I think I'm pretty popular, but um, it's mostly just like whether you have like Everyone that qualified for the Pro Tour is in the event, and also everyone that um, is in, um, I like, just big enough content maker, because it's a good way to advertise. Oh my goodness, I'm getting so hyped! Who knew? All we needed was three tap lands. Oh, it's going to be truly glorious. <laughs> Ooh, the opponent knows what's coming. They can feel it in their bones. They see their destiny written on the wall. Oh my goodness, it's going to be sweet. This is going to be... Oh, your incubation druid will not save you, opponent. It cannot save you. Nothing can save you from from your destiny with justice. Oh, a Skargan Hellkite. That is cute, I must say. That is adorable, opponent. <laughs> oh, sweet, sweet justice. Your name is Justice. Let us, let's ride into the sunset. Fury. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> uh, we could have had the turn three combo, but you know, who needs the turn three combo when you can just turn four combo them with uh, equal consistency. I do my best to get this excited about everything. This is hilarious. <laughs> oh, the combo kill. Uh... Get destroyed, opponent. I'm going to kill your Domri just because I can. Killing two foes at once. 
Oh, sweet, sweet justice. <laughs> this deck is awesome. Thank you, Dr. Frank Karsten. Thank you. Hello, and welcome to another sweet combo hand. Uh, we have got this adventurous impulse to find our Dreadhorde Butcher, and uh, we have the Giant Growth and Thud. So uh, I'm feeling optimistic this game, cautiously. <laughs> Clearly, we're going to find the car exact card we need in the top four cards of our deck. We have five draws to find it, essentially. So four copies, five draws, 60 cards, five out of 60 times... Uh, that's not exact math, but Frank Karsten could do the math. As, a, as the designer of this deck, I'm sure he could. We actually have uh, eight copies that, of cards we can hit, though, because we have the card that can flash back giant growth. Uh, though that's not quite as much damage. That's only um, six, seven, 14 damage, so we would need a little help with that one. I love the art on this giant growth. Also, the flavor text is quite good. It's something about Magwu being bigger than you expect him to be. Oh, opponent on the mold of five. Mr. Bowman, even with seven cards, you could not possibly deal with the power. The power of the dark side. <gasps> it's Colossus. Oh, yes. Okay. You know, that was not exactly ideal, but we came closer to finding like, one of the creatures we needed. Maui used to be so cute. Oh no. Wild Growth Walker. Well. <laughs> I completely whiffed. <laughs> I didn't even hit a land. <laughs> wow. I thought it. For a second, I thought it only said creature, and then I realized that I hit two shocks into, like, giant growth or something. something. <laughs> Why didn't I just play my tapped stomping ground? That is the real question we're asking ourselves right now. It was so I could BM my opponent and play it untapped, just to spite him. Wow. What, what, what will I do with my counter spells, though? Oh, yes. All three Krankos together at last. I can just combo kill him with Cranko pretty much. I can just go Cranko with Collision with I mean with Colossus and with Giant Growth on it. And that's five. Nine ten goblins! Oh yes, the goblins are coming. The goblins are coming, the goblins are coming. Opponent is not ready for such power. If I draw a land, I can just go Colossus, Giant Growth, he buffs himself, and then I thud him. And then can kill him with goblins. Yes! Oh, sweet, sweet justice. Wow, it didn't let me respond to my own trigger. That is a sad feeling. I was going to respond by using giant growth. But now he's not prepared. <laughs> oh, yes. So, essentially, I could have made three more goblins. Um, but it won't matter unless he plays Jade Light Ranger. <laughs> Ilharg? What is this? Oh, no! Oh, no! What creature does he have in his hand? Oh. He doesn't have a creature in his hand. I respect the opponent. Ilharg almost got me. Boom! The Cranko combo! Let's go! Exciting stuff from the Cranko, even though we messed up our giant growth. This deck is so cool. So cool. Hello, and welcome to more combo kill action! We have the turn three combo! Will it be good enough? Will we draw the third land to fully initiate the combo? Only time will tell. Shock face, Dread Horde Icanist, get him. Oh, get shocked. You weren't ready for the shock, were you, opponent? You weren't ready! Oh, come on, land! Please, land! Oh, great and heavenly land, of which I am so proud! No! Oh, we were so close!
So wait, this is this is three, six, seven. So we can do fourteen to him. So we will do fourteen next turn. Hit him for nine. No big deal. Only turn three. We would have killed him if we'd had the extra mana, but instead we will have to kill him next turn. What a what a pity. Oh man, this is true justice. Oh man, so good. Oh thank goodness he's not killing my guy. Oh thank goodness he's not killing him. Please don't kill him. I need him for giant growth thud. Oh, we must thud him. Thud must be done. It must be. There is no other way. No other. Decklist? Uh, I'll show you the decklist after this. Oh my goodness. This is truly justice. Oh, you think to defeat me? There's the land we needed. With power, with mana cost less than or equal to. Okay, so we can kill him in a sick way. So we can go. We can like shock his face, and then yeah, you know, that's just riskier. We could have played Dreadhorde Butcher. No, because we don't have the mana to thud it and giant growth it. So yeah, let's just the giant growth. Uh, let's giant growth again, why don't we? Seven power. Oh, oh how cute. You think to stop me with chump blocking, when in reality, I am dropping a woolly mammoth on you. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> Great. This deck is the best. This deck is truly a glorious deck. Hello and welcome as our opponent gets ready to face me down yet again. Oh my goodness. Uh, we don't have a thud in this hand. We'll keep it though. We can just hit him a couple times. Oh man, this opponent just faced my wrath. They know exactly what's coming and they can do nothing to stop it. Okay, we we got rid of some cards that weren't thud. We found our third land, so we can uh, kind of go off here. Aw, that's so cute. You have a Llanowar Elves. Oh, this man is getting completely mauled here. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, this is going to be great. We don't have a thud, so things could get a little bit dicey. But, you know, whatever happens, happens. No, not lightning strike. Oh, no. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, we're good. We're chilling. We are chilling. Oh, my God. We're just going to do it three turns to him in a row. <laughs> oh, this is great. It's just like, you know, casual, just... Hitting him for seven three turns in a row. No big deal. <laughs> oh, we'll just play our growth chamber guardian, I guess. No reason not to. <laughs> oh, this deck doesn't even need to come, but we're just going to giant growth double pump twice, like three times. And it's going to be legendary. This is like the infect of standard, clearly. Because it doubles up your pump spells. And thud is broken, clearly. <laughs> that should be banned from standard. Oh, man. Oh, <gasps> no! Growth Chamber Guardian, you must carry on the mantle. Lead us to victory! Oh, man.
Do I want to pump it and put him to seven and then kill him next turn with it? Or play Krenko? I think Growth Chamber Guardian deserves his chance to shine. To prove to us all that he can be the greatest. And also because, yeah, Krenko might be too slow. If opponent plays like a scary card, it might be too slow. Because they can just shoot it with another thrash. Whereas they can't thrash Growth Chamber Guardian. You can thrash my soul, but you can't thrash my spirit. <laughs> oh, will opponent play around the, the next giant growth? Of course not! Nobody can play around the fourth giant growth! I mean, he's only seen one. But still! Oh, growth chamber. Oh, never mind. Dang. I guess Kranko it is. Oh! Okay. Dreadhorde Butcher. Be the hero that we deserve. We're winning a mid-range game, kind of. We don't need another Simic guy. Okay, now we can play Cranko and Giant Growth. Oh, dear. We are entering down a slippery slope. Oh, he's also running Cranko. He's probably like, I can't possibly die unless my opponent has double giant growth. He didn't block. Oh, yes. <laughs> Just when you think you're safe, giant growth gonna get you. <laughs> this is the guy we beat last time, too. Oh, man. Sorry, S&T Tiffus Whip Vip. All right, VIP. <laughs> oh. Hello, and welcome to the final round with uh, Karsten's Masterpiece, is what I'm calling it. Oh, my gosh. We're going to keep this hand. It is solid enough. It has Dreadhorde Butchers. We need some thuds, but, you know, you can always find some thuds in your heart. Ooh, looks like he might be doing a similar thing to us. Let's see who can combo more effectively. That Vanifar is a pretty cool avatar. Agreed. I mean, I don't know any other deck running Adventurous Impulse. Oh, <gasps> there's the thud! Oh, there's the thud indeed. Oh my god. We're doing it. We are doing it! I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, he shocked it. Little does he know we have a backup. Always have a backup plan. <gasps> My opponent is also going for the combo. I just kind of have to hope he doesn't have it here. This is hilarious. We're both doing the exact same thing. Oh, does he have it? Does he have the Colossus in the thud? Please no! Oh, man, playing against this deck is so scary. Oh, he doesn't have it. Oh, he doesn't have it. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, thank goodness. The mirror match. Win condition also is in on this tech. He knows. Come on, Colossus. You're on top of my deck. Oh, <gasps> double thud. We're going to feign weakness this turn, so that next turn he might attack with both. And we can get in with the giant growth, thud him. Because that would be lethal. Whew. 
We just need one more hit with our Red Horde Butcher. Seven. If we block this, the problem is he kills ours. Let's just see what happens. Oh, he didn't have it! He didn't have it! Unless, of course, he has it post-combat. In which case, like, why would you do it post-combat when you could do it during combat? Oh my gosh! We took a leap of faith! We can kill him with our Grill Spellbreaker! Oh man, the mirror match is so tense! Oh, the mirror match is so tense. Okay, Growth Chamber Guardian. Sure. Another Growth Chamber Guardian. Okay. Triple Thud. It's not just Jund Aggro of Inoshe, it is Jund Combo Aggro with Thud. <gasps> if he doesn't block the girl spellbreaker, he's dead. Don't tell him anybody. Be very quiet. Aw. So we he does we do two to him, he goes to fourteen. Um, then we do two more to him, he goes to twelve. Never mind, wait. Oh, never mind, we do get him. Oh, we got him! Oh my gosh, we did get him! Exact damage! The double thud! Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh, the double thud! The double thud! The double thud for exact season the mirror match! To end the video! Oh my gosh, that was sick! Oh my gosh, we got the victory. I... I'm... For everybody who made it all the way to the end of the video, say hashtag thud is OP in the comments section down below. Put some hype up for this deck. Uh, I do want to say thanks again to Wizards of the Coast for letting me into the early access re release event. Uh, that is how I was able to play with this deck before anyone else, except for my la opponent in the last round. But it's super fun to play. If you have the cards, I'd recommend playing it. If you are short on wild cards, the cards might not be the best ones. But the deck is a, a complete blast, and I really enjoyed playing it myself. Remember to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment in the comment section down below if you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you in my next video. See you next time.